1972, I wanted to be my own boss, and I did a little research, and I decided I wanted to get in the wine business, and I moved our family to the Napa Valley. After investigating some vineyards here, I was hell-bent on getting a hillside vineyard. After spending a couple of days with our realtor and having him show me the valleys, the opportunities in the valley, he said, oh, wait a minute, down in the Stag's Leap area, there, there is a hillside vineyard. And the fellas had it on the market about three years, and uh, he might take an offer. So I said, let's go. And when I drove in that driveway and I saw those hillsides and those exposures, and without, before I ever dug any test holes or talked to people, I had this feeling, this is it. We drove in here third week in January. It was about 70 degrees. All the hills were vibrant green because it rains in the winter out here and the vineyards were dormant. I'd never seen a grapevine before. But having just driven out from Chicago, where in January it was 15 below and snow and bleak and gray, it was like, oh my gosh, this is a pretty nice place. So it was beautiful. But then within a few weekends, I realized what pulling rocks out of the vineyard was like, and I wasn't liking it that much after that for a while. When we were in high school on weekends or home from college on vacations, and Dad wanted to contour the land. That means we all had to go out and dig a few ditches. We're not really sure where we were digging them for or where they were going to go, but we did contour the land. This site for growing Cabernet is just wonderful. It's a jewel. It's, uh, it's worth the kind of the head of Stag's Leap District. It's almost like a box canyon, if you will. And so all our hillside vineyards face, have exposures to the south, southwest, or west. And so it's wonderful exposure for grape ripening. The hillside vineyards, they're all shallow soil, so the vines have to struggle, so they never produce too many leaves, and the grapes don't produce too many grapes either. The grapes they, they do produce are very small, almost like blueberries, so you get wonderful concentration of flavor and richness in the resulting wines. In the early days, um, we were about 30% new oak in the Cabernet, and uh, Doug and I would taste through the cellar and we started to realize that you know these wines were still so fruity even after two years in the barrel that they could handle more oak, that they were so uh, robust and rich that uh, adding a little more oak to them would actually uh, you know, enhance the whole package. I think a lot of people don't understand how hard it is to grow hillside grapes and the amount of labor in order to make great hillsides to life that it takes. Um, you know, Mother Nature, I will say Mother Nature really is the winemaker. It's our job to kind of um, take what she's given us and uh, translate it into a great bottle of wine. We have had a great time, 30 years, making this wine. And we hope the people enjoy this wine as much as we have enjoyed making it.